Yo, it's your boy, my makes money. These are four ways you can make money in playing Axie Infinity. And the first one is actually just by playing the game. Um, this game is really not that hard to understand once you start playing. It is going to cost a very high investment unless you get a scholarship, but that's going to be number four. But the first way is to actually just uh, start off with getting some Axies on the market. And they're going for really cheap right now. You can definitely get a good Axie um, for around maybe $300. When I got into this game, the floor price was around three hundred dollars, so I would get the worst Axie for very expensive compared to not right now. But um, right now, what's happening with the market is that there is a lot of fud with um taxes in the Philippines, where a majority of the players are right now. And I still think this game is has a lot of potential in the long term. And the AX token just skyrocketed up twenty percent in a single day. Don't know why. And sometimes you're most likely you're not going to get one of these but if you can that's a blessing because you can probably easily resell that for maybe at least two hundred dollars so or yeah around two hundred dollars and that was for free but there's like thousands of people that are just actively watching the market and there are bots which i did that happened to me one time i did sell an axie and it did get caught up by a bot um these are my axes right now um I may sell these for a loss just because um, I want to get either out of the game or get back into the game with better cards. The cards that I have right now are not that good, honestly. Um, so I'm waiting to either sell them and get into some entities and come back into, the, into this game with more money or actually just um, stay with the game, play with, um, play, but I still need to sell these because my team is horrible getting three aquas in uh the playing mode arena and solo will just it's like bringing a fork to a knife fight you're just gonna lose automatically unless you get super lucky going against horrible people but a lot of these people play almost every single day so that is the first way i was making around maybe 10 to 18 dollars to just give you an estimate on how much money you could be making and at that time, I was pretty good. I had a decent team. And I was winning a majority of my matches. But right now, I'm barely winning anything. And it's not even fun to play anymore right now. Just because I was focusing on breeding, which is number two. The number two way you can make money in this game is actually by getting two of these axes and getting the AX token. So if I wanted to, I could breed with uh, one other axe. Um, I just don't have the funds right now. Uh, just because I sold out of it and still thinking about getting back into this game but right now the market is not looking the best I would have to to even be profitable um I would have to sell these guys at a loss just because I uh, it was more expensive than I actually pay for or around the same price I'm not going to be losing too bad but I just want to make money right now so if the prices do crash even more which I don't think so, just because AXS token went up 24%, and I still don't know why. Um, I'm making this pretty early in the day. And now number three is by sniping. I did this when I first started the game. Um, I just bought a horrible Axie, and I was just able to sell it right uh, for more, maybe like $50 to 40 on profit, and that was over a week because I bought horrible Axies when I first got into the game because... Um, Axie Infinity was brand new and there wasn't a lot of people that I was talking about it in the best builds, which I'm going to be focusing on later in my later videos. But um, the cheapest, I just got the cheapest one and there was so much demand for the game that I was just able to sell it for more and get better cards and I was just able to actually make money from learning about the game, like learning how to play the game and also being able to sell the cards for more. Um, Maybe you could get a lucky snipe. Usually what I focus on are, are on aquas, which I only have aquas. And you usually, and what you do is that you go to zero breeds and uh, six pureness. Uh, that's the way you can find the best aquas that are mo the most valuable. Um, then you go to the latest and you just uh, sit here and watch the market to see if there are any cheap cars. Like right now, um, I feel like the axes are getting more expensive which in my opinion is a good thing. Uh, pure aquas that have 100% breeds, um, they were worth around a thousand, 
and the prices did crash and now um they're very cheap compared to where they were and if ASS can stay up here maybe uh it could last the prices could keep going up but i feel like a lot of people are going to be selling just because this happened in a single day in a single day it was going from around about 70 dollars to 90 almost hitting a 100 i believe or yeah it hit up there but that's 20 percent in a single day off of no major news that i've i checked on and the fourth way you can make money on Axie Infinity, which I hopefully, once I get enough money in the future, is by starting scholarships. And what scholarships are, are people that want to play this game and may not have the funds, but you can actually give them some of your Axies so they can play for you. And then you get a percentage of whatever they make. So let's say um, they make maybe $20. Usually uh, scholarships are that you probably would take around either 50, which is... Uh, from what I've heard, to over uh, 40 for you if you want to do scholarships. Um, usually 60 to 40 scholarships are around the generous mark. And so if they make 20, you're going to be making 8 I believe, $8. And that's going to be almost every single day if the scholar does play every single day. And if you have more, it's probably going to be more axes. You're probably going to be making more money. Um, and if you have a good team, it really depends on how good your scholar is and how good your team is. You can also grind arena. And I was saying how I was making around 10 to $18 a day. People with more axes are able to make more and people who have easily better axes than me can be making way more. Um, today you can make around, well, 25 SOP. If you do the daily quest and 25 SOP, this is uh, Axie Infinity. Uh, that was Axie Infinity's Twitter. I'm gonna go on Coin Market Cap and just to see what the price of SOP is right now, because if you win five uh, multiplayer games, that's where you go against a, ra a random person, and ten adventure, which is way too easy. Um, all you have to do is just go against the easiest uh players that is three dollars but that's i wouldn't say guaranteed but if you do play long enough you're probably going to get this easy so that is on the worst case trust me if you play arena going against multiplayer you're going to be making more if you can complete the solo player um i max out eight sop just because um i, I keep on selling my axes and they you can level up it's basically like pokemon and the more you play, the more um, better your cards can get and the more easier it is to win solo. And that's one way you can make money. And the other way is actually through Arena, which is when you go against multiplayer, random people online. They could be really good, but um, I just won two today. And that's around like six SOP for every time you win. And that will quickly add up. When I had a good team, I was probably making at least 60 to 70 and I've only been playing for like a month. It's really, it's a really simple game once you get to understand it. It's gonna be difficult at first, but um, I listed four different ways that you can make money in this game. Um, in my opinion, I think uh, going for a team that you can win with PvP and also breed is probably a good way. Um, I messed up because I only got Aquas and I can't win PvP with only Aquas. It is insanely difficult, and I just wanted to focus on breeding, which was a way that I probably was able to make around four hundred to five hundred dollars a week around there, and then the prices crashed. So this has been I started in June, so it's been around a month, I believe. Wait, July, August, no, two months. Wait, what? Whoa, that has gone fast. I think I, I've either been playing this game for one or two months. I can't tell you which one, but I do. Um, I'll have to check on this after the video. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like. It definitely does help the video. And it's your boy, My Makes Money. Peace.